Maybe you can talk to how the how the whole promotion gets put together, who hires the ref, who hires the judges, how the whole thing plays out. And um, the whole thing is well, begging to be corrupted. The the whole it's like boxing is like when you ask that question. Boxing is like building a city, building houses, building a community on toxic ground, on ground that came from dumps. Well, hear me through. And it, it shouldn't be built on that. So something bad's going to happen eventually. Your kids might start glowing at night. <laughs> okay? And where it's built on something dangerous, on something toxic, on something it shouldn't be built on. Well, that is what boxing And the structure of boxing has been built on because you have the people that are making money in the sport, the promoters, you know, the managers, the the, every whatever. You have the people making money and they are in the same place right next to the people that are supposedly administrating the sport, making sure that the sport's not crooked, making sure that... Funny things don't happen. Making sure that kids don't become green and start glowing at night, right? And so the landscape, there, there's no division of church and state. There's no separation. There, there's no policing. There's nothing. There, there's no God Almighty. There, uh, there's there's nothing in place to make sure that corruption doesn't happen. The the the, the people making money, they're right in there with the people that are administrating and have the responsibility of administrating the sport. Explain the connection with the promoter and who hires all the officials, from the judges to the referees and how the fight gets promoted. All you need to know, I don't want to bore people out there, but I'll give them the basic lowdown. All you need to know is that, first of all, the promoters pay the officials in a lot of states. I mean... (laughs) Do you need to, I mean, what? 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 It's like the Patriots hiring what? the referees before the Kansas City game and flying <laughs> like, them out like there Kraft, on a private the jet. Robert Kraft saying, hey, come here, Mr. Official. Here, 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 let me give you your, your paycheck for today. Hey, the Jets on the uh, runway to right? take you home. <laughs> here. I mean, so they, and they you, you got these alphabet organizations, these sanctioning organizations, WBA, uh, you know, and I've said it before, I say it again, you know, the the call letters, what is it, World Boxing Association? For me, it's we be asking. <laughs> okay? The IBF, International Boxing Federation. All right. Listen, forty years, I'm sorry. I gotta tell you what it really is. I be felonious. All right? <laughs> okay? Yeah. We, WBC World Boxing uh commission or whatever the hell it is, council, whatever the, I don't even know. But whatever it is, we be collecting. All right. Uh Listen, it's not so funny when a kid gets robbed. That's right. That has put his whole life into it, and he's taking punches, and he has to go back after being robbed and take punches again to get back to that place that he was just robbed from. That ain't so funny. That's why I take this stuff serious. That's one of the reasons why maybe, you know, when you ask me at the top why I'm doing this, um, one of my hopes would be maybe we could make a difference. Maybe because in boxing, you know, there's there's very little places to make differences. I just kind of laid it out. There's no enforcement in place. There's no national commission. The NFL has one. The NBA has one. MLB has one. NHL has one. Boxing doesn't have one. There's no police. There's nobody there. And to your point and to your question, you know, there's you got the people, the promoters, people making money. And the organizations who rate these guys who get sanctioning fees from their champions for the right to, for them to call you a champion and give you a belt, you have to pay them a part of your purse, a sanctioning fee. And they have, you know, they, they have these meetings that go on, these conventions that go on all over the world. They meet. What do you think goes on? Again, there's no police there. So you have the head of the, of I'm, I won't name one. I won't pull one out of, of one of these organizations. And then you got the manager of a fighter who wants his fighter to move up a little bit. 
is there anyone watching that conversation? Is there anyone who's seen that maybe he's buying a ad for thirty thousand dollars? Ads in those places don't cost thirty thousand dollars. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Do you know it's what like I'm this saying? Like stuff but, but I'm giving it to you. isn't gonna. But, but I'm just saying. Do you under, yeah. <laughs> there's nobody there. Say, <laughs> wait a minute. An ad for thirty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thirty thousand dollar ad in the church whoa, bulletin. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. So you know what I mean? Well, how about how about the dinner? I've been at them. How about the dinner where you know where to go, what restaurant to go in the city before a big fight, right? Around the world, Germany, you know, London, United States, wherever the fight's going on, and you walk in and you see something that looks like the Last Supper. Except the Last Supper, the big, 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 big difference is that um, maybe there was a better group of people, but the big difference is that there was probably just bread and water. At this dinner, you got the best wines, you got lobster, you got caviar maybe, you got the best steaks. I mean, you, it's a hell of a dinner. It's a, and you know what? It's a hell of a tab. It's a hell of a bill. And guess who's at that dinner? All the officials who's going to be working the fight the next day. Yeah, this is real. All the officials who are going to be working the fight the next day, you know, all the heads of the organization or some of the heads of that organization, uh, all the officials, the refs, the judge, everybody, they're all sitting there. Guess who the host is? Guess who the guy to go to check is? It's, yeah, it's the promoter. And guess what? The promoter has one fighter who he wants to win that night. Guess what's going on at that dinner? But besides good cuisine, there's conversation going on. And maybe somebody says, hey, uh, you know, I was, thank you for your hospitality, Mr. So-and-so. I was wondering, you know, it's such a beautiful place here. And, you know, I haven't gotten a chance to really see it yet. I was wondering if I could extend the hotel for an extra two days. No problem. No problem. There's nobody there to say there's a problem to that, that there's an impropriety to that. So it's no problem. Uh, you know what, uh, sir? Um, you know, my, my girlfriend, uh, wants to come in. I was thinking if I could get another airfare. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, I was thinking that, you know, uh, my second girlfriend wants to come in. We gotta get a, <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get a second room. Uh, no problem. Listen, listen, the point is, that if this took place in with an I change the characters to very visible characters for everybody to relate to. If this same thing took place in baseball the night before World Series game, and it was all the umpire and crew that was at that table, right? And the host was a guy named Steinbrenner. <laughs> okay. No, really, this is really. Um, would that be allowed? No. Uh, would that, could you even think about it? No. Could you, no. <laughs> because there'd be no sport of baseball anymore. they gone, done, finished. But there's still a sport of boxing and it goes on every day. <laughs> 